We're starting the two dots and the end of the Gimel and base. The word says that the Torah says that you also have an Ezekiel for children. So the Torah says the Pesach says Ben Abbas, the Chayav the Ketanim Kigdoyim. To tell you that you Chayav for children like adults. So what about Lidino? Who is Kavu Chayav? Who is the Chayav Adam Be Adam? In Adam, hurts an Adam. You Chayav. Chayav Shor Be Adam. You Chayav when a when an axe scores an Adam. Mak is Chayav Adam Be Adam Lishna Be Ketanim Be Adam. There's no difference if it's children or adults. You Chayav. Rashi says, How do you know? Because the Pesach says, Be Ishkiya Ke Kol Nefesh Adam. From here you learn that you Chayav for each one. He had to learn the whole thing. Um, you learn even Ketanim. So after Shachiv Shor Bo Adam Lotachad with Ketanim Lotachim, so also my Shor should be the same thing. So the more we all eat, Kal Chaimer, the Kal Chaimer. Uma Adam Bo Adam Shlom Asabok Ketanim Kigdoyim. By Adam Bo Adam, only adults that hurt or Chayav. A child who damages, a child who kills somebody is Potter because he's a child. So Chayav with Al Ketanim Kigdoyim. Still, if someone kills a child, is Chayav. We don't have a difference by a shore if he's a child or an adult. Says Rashi, why? So of course you have a time to do it. So the moral, yeah, but you have four things. You don't have the four chiyuvim of tzar ripushel's bushes. So you can't learn more from each other. Tomu loimar or benigach vayzikar lechav ala ketanim kigdoyim tell you that a shor is chav also for children. So if ain't liel a bit b'mu'adim, not of kamut, because that's what the pasuk says. Or benigach baskach. The tam minayin. How do you know a shor tam? Dinu oil lechiyav beishvi yishor lechiyav ben bas. The is chav and a man and a woman when a shor gores them, and it's chav and a boy and a girl. Ma'akish lechiyav beishvi yishor lechilak to ben tam l'mu'ad. There's no chiyav between tam l'mu'ad. Because we said that you learn from, they're both the same. After Shechia b'ben u'bas, what tachlik b'min tam l'mod, meaning by children, the same way you chayav by a mod, who gores a children, he should be also chayav when he's going, when a tam gores children. Void kavu chaymer, my yishvish, can you rakochem in ezikim, yishvisho, that when they damage the chayav, but when they get damaged, when they get hurt, lo yichilak b'min tam l'mod, when they damage, they don't pay anything. In the digital tachlik b'min tam and wood. So of course, <coughs> you won't have a difference between tam and wood. And if a mood is chayav, so a tam will also be chayav. So the more Amad Chidonim Kal Mechamu Lachmir Alav. It's Rashi's first chat. It says we should be goyrus the parentheses. What is the more saying? You learn Kal Mechamu Lachmir Alav. You mechmir b'mood the chamu tachlik b'tam akal. You want to learn more from each other. You say like this. The first question we want is, I find that by mood, you're, there's no difference. By mood, by ish, by ish, there's no difference. Mood is chayav, time is chayav. So by ketanim, mood is chayav, time should also be chayav. So on one second, but time is more lenient than mood. So maybe in this case, you don't pay by time. You can't just say, oh, whatever you find in mood, Whatever you find in other cases, there's no chiyuv to tam and mud. So, so if you find a mud, you find a tam. No, tam is more lenient. The other question, this question is against the kavuchim. What's the kavuchim? No, you might be ish v'ish can chayov in the mitzvahs. Turn benu ba'as shep turn in the mitzvahs. Ish v'ish are chayv in mitzvahs. Benu ba'as or part of the mitzvahs. So by ish v'ish, there's more reason to be mechayv than benu ba'as. Right. So that's the question. Now, this is just a side point. Why is benu ba'as? Because they don't do mitzvahs, they will be doing mitzvahs when they become bigger. So, because right now they're not doing mitzvahs, you're potter. It's a little hard to understand. A little more on that in the Shul Machshov and this stuff. So, what Tomud Leimar Ben Ikach or Basikach says, Negich Betam, Negich Mood, Negich Lemisa, Negich Lezikim. It says, It says, Yigach Yigach, the Tishri Tam and Mood are the same. The Tishri there and Misa, the Zikim are the same. I'm sure you discuss how you learn from all from these two words, all of them, and you learn there's no difference. And always you be chayav by children. We mentioned the first chat of Rashi, the like more brings of the Mitzinu, and you want to learn whatever happens by Yishvi Yisho, happens with Ben and Bats. And we learn a couple of And Rashi learns that the more brings a question of the Mitzinu and a question of a couple of him. Without going down to the whole Cheshboinus, the Torah's Mitzinu parents learns that both questions apply to both answers. The 
question number two was, what? Question number one, how can you make Tam more chomer? Question number two, there's a reason to be mechaim ish ve And on the kavochem too, if you want to look at the kids are more lenient because they're not chayov. So first of all, how can you make Tam more chomer? Second, how could you, um, <coughs> second as Rashi learned, that they're not chayav in mitzvahs. Rashi learns that you cannot bring the question of Tam to be more chomer from a kavochemer. Because why? Because that, that, um, it says that's how it works. What you saying? This is a cool, this is a chumro. It's called Tam and Chidonim. And Tam and Hashka Chumro, Ben Ubas, the Yafek of Hamanizik, and Mishri Isha. In other words, on the Kavachoymer, though we learned, we brought a Kavachoymer. Kavachoymer was that children are more or are, are, are stronger than Mishri Isha, that because they don't want to pay for Nizik. So you're coming and saying, yeah, but what will be the question according to that? Question on the first point would be, how can you learn that you want to take, you want, how can you take something to be kal and to be making more chum? Who says children are more kal? Who want to make children more kal? We just said that children are more chum. Because they just, uh, uh, they just, when they mouth the chayav, and when, that, and, and when they mouth the potter. So that's why Rashi doesn't want to say the second question on the kal So the Mishnah. Shor Shah Miskach Mishachech Bakoiso. Ashor, he is rubbing himself against a wall. Fenofal Adam, and he caused the wall to fall on Adam and kill, killed Adam. Miskach Larius the Bame of Arabs Adam, another case. He was intending to kill an animal and killed Adam. Or the Kanani of different use of the Nochri, the Goy. The Arab is very strong. He was coming to kill a Goy and he killed a Jew. Then if only Rabbi Mekayama, or he was coming to kill a Nephilim, which means it's a baby who's not going to survive, and he killed the Mekayama, and in all these cases, he is put. Um, so says, you know, he didn't have the Kavana for Bar Chiyur. Now, on the first case, we said he was rolling himself against the wall, and he caused the damage. Omosh wall. Put him in the Kaifer. He's the Chayav Potter Misa because he was not miscalled to kill the Adam, but he's Chayav Kaifer. Rav Omer Potter Misa or Misa, he's Potter on both. So more of a Maya Tamu. Why? Why is he Potter on both? He's a short Tamu. What do you mean short Tamu? So maybe we'll see first the answer. Because the Omer Rav the Muad Lipol of the Adam and Boris, the Boris can say a little, come on, Tavim Ches, that he's Muad to fall on Boris. Hachinai the Muad is Chakach of the Adam Bektol. Is more to mischak and mixom. To meaning to roll himself against the wall and to kill people. So he actually by cutlash, so kill him if that's what he does. This was also the Chazi Rekha enough of Deer and Davim Ches. We have a reason that he saw vegetable and vegetation and everyone to the board. How come I kill him? What about here? Chana mischak and mixom. He also is he rubbing himself for his enjoyment. How do we know that? The boss of the Novak and mischak and after he fell, he's rubbing himself against the wall. So what, what's what's the case over here? So Rashi learns in Daf in the Kabbalah Daf Ches that this the, the way that Chayim learned Rashi, there's no way to have Kaifer unless there was a three time nezik. You can't do it. You have to have three times. So so where's the three times? So Rashi Daf Ches learns the first three times the Shor rolled himself against the wall, not by Nosso. He intended to kill Adam. Three times he threw a, a, a wall on the other. Now he became a mud. Now he's half kaifer. Even now he's doing lano. So now why he didn't kill him the first three times? Rashi says Borach Lagmo. <coughs> he ran away to the to the valley. And therefore he's he's a, and therefore he's going to be a potter. Therefore he's not he didn't have on this. On this fourth one he did lano. So you don't kill him. Tais says learns no. We don't have to have three times to have kaifer. Any time the, the short does something, either shin or regal, is right away a mood and he's kind of great for that. So the the, the big mukhlik is comes here right in the, in the standing the sugar. Rashi learns there's no kaifer unless you have three times. So he just learns anyone who's mood can be kind of great for and according to this mandala. So he went up and down on base. Makati throws the new. Okay, he's throwing the, the, the wall. But it, it's not direct. He's, he's, uh, he's throwing the wall to the 
So in the wall on the on the on the on the Adam, it's koyich. It's not it's, it, 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 with his body. As she learns, the only time he shows chayv is what he does with his body. On my my bread, the counter the calls of the name name. No, he's pushing the wall and he's doing it's not koyich. He's doing with his body. So I can say the Shmuel and Tiyut So again, Shmuel is the one who says that there is koyfer even when you're not chayv misa. Similar to what we had earlier. Raya to Shmuel not against Rav. Yesh chayv misa with koyfer. There is a shor chayv misa and koyfer. There is a show of Miso and Potter and Kreifer. There is a show of Miso and Potter and Kreifer. There is a show of and both. Meaning all four cases are, are, are possible. Hakit, so what's the case? Mood be Chavono. Mood, the Chavono, Chav be Miso be Kreifer. That's the classic case of Mood. Mood, Shaloi be Chavono, our case, Chav be Kreifer, Potter and Miso. Exactly like Shmuel, there is Kreifer even though there's no Miso. Tam be chavon of chayv be misu who put him in a koyfer regular shore regular tam he's gonna be killed with no koyfer tam shloim be chavon no chavon put him in zom zeh so what when he zikin shloim be chavon what happens he zikin shloim be chavon not misu the shore gourd but he wasn't intending to do it Rabbi the mechayv of shloim put him Rabbi the says you chayv shloim says put him my time with Rabbi the yod be koyfer loy for koyfer my koyfer shloim be chavon chayov even without a chavon chayov. Av and Ezekiel, Av and Shlomo Chavon Echad, also Ezekiel, Shlomo Chavon Echad, similar thing. Shimon Yolov the Katra the Shor, you learn from killing the Shor. My Katra the Shor be Chavono Potter. If he he kills Shlomo Chavon, you don't kill him. Av and Ezekiel Shlomo Chavon Potter, you also Potter. If you do the Nine and Yolov the Katra, why don't you learn from the killing? Don't the Shlomo the Shlomo, you learn from payment for payment. Koyfer is a payment. Ezekiel is a payment. Payment don't the Shlomo Misa, the only the Shlomo Misa Misa is more a punishment. For Shmuel Shimon Av and Yolov the Katra, why don't you learn from Koyfer? Don't in the chiyuv of the shor and the chiyuv of the shor. You learn the chiyuv of the shor, which is miso in tashlumim. La fuki koyv the chiyuv of the bialim. The the koyfer is the chiyuv of the owner. Why? As Rashi says, kaporas nafsha. So he mechaper on himself. Now, the some of the achrayim want to say, the mechol of Asa wants to say. We remember in the beginning of the, of the sector we had the chakira. Why is the shor chayav? Is it midin? What is niski mami? Is it chayav because your mami is a mazik? Or you have because the owner did not guard. So the Lechon and Lechon here seems to be it's because the moment of Asik. Because if it's because he didn't guard, so both the Shlomi, the Tashlum of Koifer and the Tashlum of Nizikin are both on the owner. Why is the more saying that the Tashlum is on the shark? So basically when you see moment of Asik, that means the moment it owes, who is responsible for the moment, the owner. But if you say it's because of the Lechon, it's the same thing. But many other Lechon disagree and they say no. Yeah, even if you say that the chiyuv is because of Shmuel, but the condition of the chiyuv is Momon and Mazik. My Momon hurt damage, and I didn't guard it, so I have to chive. It comes because Momon and Mazik. Koifer is more in the other himself. Because he didn't guard, it's your responsibility, and you have Koifer. So the one is coming along, so being Rogus Odom, he intended to kill a beam or kill the Odom pot in all the cases. Had his Kamal, I regret Zev, I regret Zev. But he had an intention to kill Reuven, and he killed Shimon. Chayev, and he's Chayev. Even if he's coming to kill Ruben, kill Shimon, he's Potter. My time with Shimon, why does Shimon learn this way? The Omar, the Omar, the Apostle learns, Hashor is so good the Gambol of Yimus, Yimus. The Kotor compares the Shor, the being stoned, to the Misa of an owner. Can Misa is buying, can Misa Shor? You learn more from each other. Ma Bailim Adim Chavin Lay, Ma Bailim Lay, until he has Kavana. I'm sure Nami Adim Chavin Lay. Also, sure, has tam kavam. Ubayim gufayim in alayin, but bayim that's the word case. So Shimon learns it also, because Shimon learns that you have to have kavana. That the omer kol the oil of loy become a love. Actually, it's kavan loy. According to Shimon, if one intends to kill Reuven and he killed Shimon, he's potter. So the gabi goes, and therefore my shor should be the same. For one of them, they don't know say no. If you intend to kill Reuven, you kill Shimon, you're chayav. Hi, what are you gonna do with the pasuk? Hi, bar will buy up the lane. So the one says, we go back to when Lulik Suri left his vote. I mean, the reality, the only part of the Zurich Evan Lagoy. Prison throws a stone into a group of people. Hey, Gidam, what's the case of the world? Ilam Katisha Kraim, Vechod Israel, Binayim, there were nine Goyim and one Jew. They were the group of Kraim, the majority are Goyim. And therefore, what? And therefore, if the majority are Goyim, so he is Pater. Because you don't have a Goyim. This, by the way, there's an interesting. Uh, Magid Mishnah, Kesem Mishnah, on the Rambam, he brings you the Mechilto. 
Killing a guy, there it's Isr of Ritzicho, and a person is Chayab Dini Shemai. But you don't Chayab Dini Yodom. So that's the, the, the good over here. It's not Chayab on, on, on crime. On the old Gemara, you have here a, a footnote that the censorship added that say, because by the Goyim, you're part of when you intend to kill somebody directly. But the real shot is because you're not Chayab and Goyim. Inami, Palgo, Palgo. Even if you want to say it's half and half, I mean, if half Jews have Goyim, Sofik the Vosh Lakel. I don't know what Sofik. But certainly, Katishi is Israeli, Vechot Kan. You have nine Jews and one Goy. Based on the Roiv, you are Chayef. How about the Ruby Israeli mean, even though the majority is Israeli? Chadik, Chadik, Kran, Vinai, because there's one Krami, how about Kavu? That's Kavu. They're called Kavu, Kemerz, Amerz, Adami, the Sofik the Vosh Lakel. It's called, here's the, the, the source of Kavu. What's Kavu? When something is not moving, if you have nine Jews, one Goy, it's considered to be as if you have five Jews, five going. It's a suffix, suffix, they first lahakil, and therefore when he throws a stone into a group of people, nine going, one Jew, he's put. Now here there's a bit more I'm sure, just to mention in short. What is exactly the case of the Roy? Rashi learns, the pshat is, that we don't know what his kavana was. He threw the stone, and he hit, the, he hit somebody. Shalom is, what is he, his commentary or not? So we say, based on the Roy, it wasn't his comment to a Jew, he's coming to a guy. So the the the, the Royd goes based on, goes to Kavana. And that's the new shame argue because Royd does not tell me what the Kavana is. The Ramal learns, the Pshat is, that he was he intended to kill that person. From, from the group. He had Kavana to one of them. But we don't know, is that person a Goya Jew? And they, they were gone. Afterwards, you can't find out. So Shalom is that he killed a Jew, he killed a guy. Based on Roiv, he killed a, a Jew. Kavua tells you that he's brought him. It says the Mishnah. Shore Isha, Shore of Isha, Shore Yisraimim, Shore that belongs to orphans, Shore Apotropusim, Apotropus, Shore that belongs to orphans, but they have a guardian, Shore Hamidbor, which is a Hefker, Shore Agdish, which is ownerless, which, which belongs to Agdish, Shore Ger Shemei Svein Liyoshi was Shore. Of a gear that has no inherit no descendants, has no inheritance. So it's ownerless. Harel Khabi means you have to kill them. Even though they don't have an owner. We don't even show meat bush or hang the show gear shemes, these three they have no owners. I mean, the other three have owners. They belong to Aisha, belong to Yisraimi, or they belong to guard the Yisraimi they have guardians. But these three, the show of the midbar, or hangdish, or gear shemes, but two in a miso, fishing and balance. If you have no owner, you don't kill the show. So the one, Shor, Shor, Shiva. There's seven times it says the word Shor in the Pesuki. One is Legufi, speaking about Shor. The other six, Lehavi, Shor, Yisho, that's one. Shor belongs to a woman. Shor, Yisoy, that belongs to orphans. Shor, Apchopas, belongs to orphans that have guardians. Shor, Midbar, that is the Hefker. Shor, Agdish, belongs to Agdish. Shor, Agdish, Shemesh, 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 Or, Agdish, Shemesh, 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 the potter, fish a limb by, they have no one. So the the Akhreni bring, what does it really do with the six psuki? So the way he learns is, in riba achariba el amayit. One shore adds one, the second one is the amayit one. So the first shore is adding shore yisho. The second one takes shore amidbar out. The third one adds shore yisoyimim. The fourth one takes out shore hegdish. The fifth one adds shore apotropos. The sixth one takes out shore agir shemes v'yam liyosh. Even when, when he gored, there was an owner. There was an owner. He had an owner. And then the owner was Mavkir or Magdishim. I don't know. In the Ketani, it says, Shor of the desert, 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 What does it mean? Shor of the desert, Shor has no inheritance. How about the Shor of the That means it's, it's ownerless. Hi, you show me where I show I guess she only your shame. What's the difference between the two? Hello, love. What's the difference? Hakamash one, the feel no ga, or was a big dish, no ga was a big gear, shwamino. You see over here, that's the difference. Shwamino means he was always shwamino, he was always sure of gear. Shwam gear, shabes, family, your shame is a show that belongs to a gear that used to have an owner, and then he died after the, after the, 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 the gory. Tanya me after a brace like that. Yes, I can remember what he said. Even if he didn't gore and then he's back to him, 
קוראים לדרך מפקר, פוטו שלמה ואוד בבוא ומימיס, אימיס היא אישו, עד שתיהם מיסו ועמוד ומדין שומעים כאחד. כי תצא אוד בבוא עלו ומיד שדור אומר, and then it says, and you, and you kill the shark. So until he goes to dinner, he has to have an owner. So more of a gemar do lo beino, if you just have to be standing in dinner, you don't have to have the psak that day. Then I'll show you circle gemar dinu, it says the show will be stoned, that's after the gemar din. And the gemar din, the gemar din show me kere, you have to have the killing, the gore killing all of them. Standing in din, and until you get to the stage of killing the shor, you have to have the owner. And if the owner takes him away, is mafkir, magishin, before one of these stages, you don't kill the shor. And this comes out to be something which is a huge chiddish. How do you understand this? The, the, the show gourd, the owner says, ah, I'm going to go to Beisdi. He goes to Beisdi. He sees he's losing. So then he means mafkir, that you don't kill the shor. But the answer is that we, as we mentioned a few times before the Masechto, we're not punishing a shor. I mean, if a shor needs to take away the nizikin, they remove the nizikin. That, that we know, the cloud is, whenever there's a zikin, the, the base takes, takes him away. But Misa's base thing is a punishment. What are you punishing a shor? Child is the shor reflects the owner. The shor is a reflection. The moment of Adam reflects the owner. As we learned earlier in the Masechto, that it says, The name of the owner goes with the moment. We always mention that what it says in the Arizal, that the word, the cats, the, this cat's called Nikle. Nikle is how Odom appears. Nikle is Rosh Hateva's Neshama, Guf, Levush, Hecho. Neshama is the inner part, that's the Ruchnius. The Guf is what surrounds the Neshama. What surrounds that is the Levush, the clothing. What surrounds that is the Hecho, means the properties. The properties is all part of the Odom. It all reveals the Odom. So when there's an owner of a Shor, and then there's a Shor, and you punish the Shor, it really reflects the Odom himself. But if the Odom the owner and the shor are disconnected. It becomes hefker, hegdish. The shor doesn't belong to the bailim anymore. There's no point of giving him Mrs. Beisdin because it's not reflecting the owner anymore. It's only as much as it reflects the owner. With this, we conclude this daf. We'll continue Beis Hashem in the next daf.